Hi everyone! This is a screencast on how you can create a Google Form that will automatically send parents an email if their child has not completed their homework. What you're looking at now is the sample of the merged document that will eventually be emailed to the parents. If you want, pause and recreate this Google Doc in your own drive. Once you've created that doc and you have it in your drive, first thing you'll need to do is create a folder and call the folder incomplete homework notices. Just move that doc into that folder. Go into the folder, create another folder with the same name except add on merged docs. You'll use this folder a lot later on in the process. Once inside this folder, you can start to create your form. Once again, you can call your form incomplete homework notices. Your first question is going to be name, and I'm going to just use myself as the sample student, make it required, add an item, date, subject, choose from a list, math, literacy, I don't know, science, and whichever subjects apply to you. and a reason. And I'll choose check boxes for this so that I can get the other option. I'll usually put in a few common answers. Couldn't find it. Um, I forgot. Put in a bunch of reasons that work for you. And at the end, I really like to use the other because I can use that to type in exactly what they've told me word for word. You can view your live form right there. Take a look at it, pretty basic. View your responses. Here is your spreadsheet. Add a page. You can call it your merge tags. Go back into your form responses page, copy the first row, and paste it. Use a transpose formula in cell A2. It populates, highlight the cells, click return, and there they are. In cell B2, use a concatenate formula, this one right here, and it goes like this. And I'll zoom in. So you can see what it looks like to recreate it. Enter and then just drag it down. These are the merge tags that you will use in your template for the document that will eventually be emailed to the parents. Create another tab, call it parent emails. student name, parent email one, and parent email two, because many children have parents that both want to be notified. So I know my first student was Kim, which is me. It's really important that you use exactly the same name here that you had in your form. They have to be identical. I'm going to just use my own email addresses for this sample. And I would just add in all my students here and all their parent emails right there. Back in the form responses page, I'm going to add on two more headers. I'm going to go into this column, C, click on the entire column, and format it as a date. Now, if this option isn't here, you can go into More Formats, 
more date and time formats and pick the format that really works for you and I prefer that one. Apply and then hopefully everything that comes into this column will now take on that formatting. I'm going to go into my live form and fill it out. So Kim on February 4th did not complete her math homework because, I put it in quotations, I did not have time last night. Submit. There it is. I'm having trouble with the format sticking here, but hopefully that will be fixed soon. At this point we put in our big formula, equals. If is blank. The name in column B is blank, then nothing. Otherwise, VLOOKUP, so otherwise pair the name in this column with, down to the emails page, Highlight this, scroll down really far in case you have, I don't know, a hundred students, include that. Now it says not applicable, that's okay, it's because the formula is not finished yet. Go back up here into your formula, put a dollar sign before the A, the 1, the C, and the 100, comma, put the number 2 so that the formula knows to pull the email address from the second column, and then include the word false so that the formula knows to keep it consistent as it moves down. And there you have the email address that is paired with the name because it pulled it right from the parent email page. Kim paired with that. But I have two email addresses that I want. I'm going to copy the formula, put it right in there. Now it says not applicable again because it's pulling the wrong cell reference. I have to go back and say no, not C2, it's still B2 and B2. So here it is, but the problem is it's the same email address. That's because I haven't changed the column that I want it pulled from. So I change that to the third column, and now it'll give me both email addresses. At this point, go into your add-ons gallery, and go into your get add-ons gallery, and search for copy down, one word, where it says manage on mine, it will say free on yours. Click free and it will add the script. Run the copy down script. It pops up on the side just like this. Turn it on and click these two boxes and click save settings. You can see this purple cell is here and it's telling you that all the formulas in row two will automatically be carried down as new forms are submitted. I'm not sure if the date is going to work. I've been having some trouble with that, but hopefully it will. If it doesn't, it's not that big of a deal. Close that. Go back into add-ons, back into your gallery, and search for Autocrat. Here it is, Autocrat. Again, where you will see this, it will say free Click on it to add it. Then go into your add-ons gallery, Autocrat, Launch, and select the big red box, New Merge Job. A window pops up right here, and select Choose Template from Drive. You need to search for the folder that contains your template. The folder is not this one, but this one. And now here is the incomplete homework template. So I'm going to select it. Once again, I'm going to name the merge job. Set it. It's asking me if all of the merge tags that are in my template match the sheet headers on my spreadsheet and they do. If they didn't, I would just simply match it with the one that did. Click Save. 
And now we need to name the file that's going to be created and eventually sent to parents. So use the variables at the top here and make sure you get the dollar sign. And once again, you're going to create a Google Doc so that it doesn't take up any space in your drive. You do want to email them. You're emailing it to parent email one separated by a comma and parent email two. The subject of the email is the exact same thing as the name of the document and create a message. go. Scroll down. Include the merge document as. I choose a PDF file attachment because most people can open those easily on their computers. Check advanced settings. And here is where you need to add a folder. You already created this folder earlier. Incomplete homework notices merge docs. That's where all the files will be sent. The last thing you have to do is decide whether or not you want Autocrat to run on Submit. So you can make that decision whether or not you want to click Submit and have the parents emailed right away, or if you want to go in at the end of every day or every other day and manually run it. I'm going to put click on Submit for now. Save, and that's that. What you see up here are many more column headers now, and I'm going to run the merge for this first entry. You'll see the little robot mustache wiggles. It's done. You heard the beep. That means I got an email. And there's a few different ways I can check this merge doc. I can get a link to it right here. And I can go and see it right there. Or I can go back into my drive, into the incomplete homework notices merge docs. There it is as well. You can see the doc and how everything has merged properly. The other place I can check it is in my board email. You can see right here, I got an email that says, Kim incomplete homework notice. It says who it's from and I can click on the attachment, downloads as a PDF and this is what the parents would see. Now the next thing I want to do is make sure the run on submit is working. So I'm going to go back into my form and submit another response. I'm choosing Kim again on April 10th. The literacy homework was not completed because I forgot back into my spreadsheet. So as you can see, the copy down formula for the date format is still not working. We're looking into it. When I have this figured out, I'll post an update. Triggered automatically, you'll see this populate in a second. There it is. So once again, I can go into my folder. The most recent one is right here. Again, I can show you it all populated correctly. I can also go back into my email. Here it is and I can download it again the exact same way. Everything works. The difference is the date here says April 10th like that. Again, as soon as I have that figured out, I promise to post an update. And that's it. I hope you find this helpful. I hope that you can use it and it helps with students completing their homework. I'm sure your students won't love it so much, but I know I do. Feel free to ask me any questions on G+. I'm plus Kimberly Polishuk or plus Kim Polishuk as well on Twitter at Kim Polishuk. And when you do ask me questions, my strategy is I find people who are smarter than me and I ask them and then I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.